Just in the last hour, attorneys for former President Donald Trump and several of his co-defendants asking Fulton County Judge Scott McAfee for official permission to immediately appeal Friday's disqualification ruling. And that ruling allowed District Attorney Fonnie Willis to stay on the case as long as Special Prosecutor Nathan Wade stepped down. But attorneys for the former president and his co-defendants say they aren't satisfied. They say Willis should have been removed too. And now they are asking for permission to make that argument to Georgia's appeals court. 11 Alive's Grace King explains how this could affect the timeline of the case. The issue with the appeal is whether the case goes on in the meantime behind the scenes. On Monday, a new motion asking Judge Scott McAfee to allow for an immediate review of his disqualification order. Attorneys for the former president and seven others say the judge's decision is one of exceptionally great importance, where ensuring the appellate courts have the opportunity to weigh in on these matters pre-trial is paramount. Is the issue so big that the case literally can't proceed at trial until it has been ruled upon by the Court of Appeals. Criminal defense attorney Joshua Schiffer tells 11 Alive that McAfee must decide whether to let the defendants appeal now or later. He can basically say, go appeal this later. It's not something that actually affects this case. It's something that's important. It's something we need to go into. It's something that needs to be explored. But the needs of trying this case now outweigh the importance of what could happen to it later. Schiffer says the judge could approve this motion or deny it based on the number of other appeals expected in a case of this magnitude. There's a strong argument for efficiency's sake that we should just put all of those appeals together after a trial rather than trying to piecemeal these complicated issues one by one in advance of a trial because that would push the trial back months and or years. In Fulton County, Grace King, 11 Alive News. And of course, we are closely following this case. You can read Nathan Wade's resignation letter and Judge Scott McAfee's full ruling right now. We also have a timeline of the 2020 election interference case, including the disqualification hearings. Just text the word ruling to the number right here, 404-885-7600. We'll send a link directly to your phone.